remove ceiling ring from top of the lineup and discard it. Next job is to remove the flame ring. For that we have a tool. Install that uh, flame ring removing tool onto the top of the liner. And there are three bolts we can see on the tool. These three bolts has to be tied properly inside the groove which is on the flame ring. After that, tie the top nut on the tool so that the flame ring will be jacked up. With the help of turning gear, bring the piston down to BDC. This is very important to bring the piston down to BDC so as to install the tools and to open the hydraulic nuts. This is a marine head type connecting rod for opening the four nuts for connecting rod studs. First we open two nuts diagonally and then the other two. We can now install the hydraulic tools. Be very careful in not to slip down the tools because the space is very congested. Hydraulic jack and high pressure pipe is connected and now we can slowly increase the pressure to open the nut. The opening pressure for this nut is 1120 bar. When reaching the required pressure, you will slowly open this nut. After one nut is loosened, we will shift all the tools to the other side to open the other nut too. The tools are being shifted from one to another side in the exit side also. Put a mark on the nut and connecting rod to see later while tightening that the nut has been tightened to the same position as before. Slowly remove both the nuts on either side and mark their positions.
clean nicely the top of the liner area. Be careful not to damage the liner surface. Clean the threaded hole on the patient crown and install an eye bolt onto it and then connect a chain block to that eye bolt. Lift up the piton together with connecting rod shaft slowly and carefully. Move and place the piston together with the connecting rod at a stable working stand. Remove all the piston rings with the help of piston ring removing plier. Be sure to use the plier for piston ring otherwise the piston rings may damage. Now keep the piston down by keeping the connecting rod touching on the bottom. Now we will remove the piston pin. So first remove the circle clip and then take out the piston pin. Then lift up the piston with the help of chain block so that we can separate the piston from the connecting rod. You can see the condition of the small end bearing. Piston is well cleaned in the top crown area from the carbon deposits. Now we will uh, install back the piston pin. The piston pin we can uh, use the old one or a new one according to the conditions. Now put back the circle clip. Piston rings are installed back. After that check the clearances of the piston rings. For the values refer the manual.
piston pin clearances are also measured. 